Hi, I am Kevin. I'm the nose tackle for the Minotaurs, Westmead Minotaurs. Kevin, thanks a million for coming on. Uh, I know it's a very busy week coming up to final day. Um, I think we're, what, less than 72 hours away from now at this stage. Uh, any, yeah. ner- any nerves settling in yet? Not really, no. Mine will probably kick in on Saturday about half an hour and get the kit ready. And that's when the kind of the kind of the pre-game kind of kicks in. It's a, a lot of people different yeah. different things now. Um, personally, I'll start to feel it tomorrow when I start getting the gear bag, like you said, gear bags, and even doing the shopping and getting the the protein bars and the energy drink stuff. That's when the nerves will start kicking in for me. Um, so Kev, um, long time veteran with the club, uh, also with the yeah. also play for a couple of different clubs. Uh, how's the season gone for you now, uh, personally and individual and for the club? Well, personally, I've just been. A solid hand, I think. I'm just doing my job to the playbook, trying to coach up the new lads as well, while focusing on my own game. So, and how do you think the team has done this year? Team has done very well. We kind of hit pause in 2019, and we just hit hit on pause this season, and we just continued on the momentum. I think so. Mm. Bit of you, uh, a bit of a slow start there in the first game, but we finally got on each and. Just play football like we do. I think we've been this season that we've been uh, building nicely, trying to peak at, yeah. for a final rather than I felt in 2019, as you were saying, we kind of nearly peaked too early. And uh, while well, we had momentum, we kind of we we kind of ran out of energy for for the final, which we we give it a good gut rattle. We were very unlucky, but I think we're mm. this season. There's a bit of noticeable difference that we're coming starting to peak as at the right time. Um, so Kev. Uh, second question I've asked all the lads is what's it mean to you to be a Westby Minotaur? Well I love football and I lo- love the group of lads that's in Westmead like I'm from Offley I was with the Phoenix I was with Eden Derry Soldiers back in the day and I came to Paddy Lally contacted me nearly nine years ago now and asked me to come down came down I just seen something in the club back then I was like these are the lads I want to play with that's simply it and it's been that way since. And I've got very good friends like yourself and Colin of Centro. And I've just grown friendships over the last nine years. And just to wear the purple and white means a lot to me, to be honest. It's always great to hear that. Mm. Um, you were saying you're, you're a nine-year veteran with the club. Um, yeah. I've asked one or two more senior lads as well who have been here. What do you reckon the difference is now between, say, your first season here and this season where we're going for, we're going for that championship? We're basically more tuned in. We're now a group of lads trying our hand at American football. We have the veterans now and we have the knowledge. And of course, the bill at the helm. We just have the culture now is all I can say. Compared to nine years ago, even when 13 years ago when I started. It's not a Sunday league. We are playing for a goal to move up a level to prove ourselves. And we know we can do it. That's quite simply my opinion of it. Yeah, uh, big game Sunday. All roads lead to yeah. Belfast. Um, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a smash mouth game of football. I think it's gonna be hard hitting. Yeah. I think it will be a couple of big plays on both sides. But how do you see the game going? I don't really have an opinion on it because I missed the two Limerick regular <laughs> season games. It's a bit of a surprise package for the Limerick boys, so they won't be expecting you. No, no, there might be a few veterans on that team that I played mm. back in the day, but. Apparently, from what I'm hearing from the rest of the lads, like yourself and the rest of the lads, they're quick, they're fast, and they're young. But you can't beat bulls, quite simply, <laughs> up the middle, on both sides of our ball, offense and defensive line. Sorry, we will tip to be the dominant team of this season on the domestic podcast because we have big men, and we just need to go and prove that. You know, mm-hmm. how do we hit? The quicker they fall. Exactly. So, so as I said, you missed the two Limerick games. So, yeah. have have you been? Have you been? You obviously you've been chatting to the lads. Have you any plans maybe for Sunday that you've been working on or anything like that? Or just play. It sounds bad. Smash mouth football, because they probably they haven't faced me this season. They faced the rest of our D line and our O line, but if we just play smash mouth football, and that's what I'm going to win on my game anyway. A few bits of techniques, but basically smash mouth. Perfect. So, Kev, it's a massive game. 
it's very weird calling you yeah. Kev. I'll have to call you Tempo. I know. For the rest of, the, rest of the interview, it's um, weird. It is weird <laughs> hearing you call me Kev. Yeah. <laughs> there's too many Kevs in or in or around. I know, yeah, too. Uh, so as you said, you were actually very busy this last couple of years. You've been up involved with the Wolfhounds, and it's great yeah. to get your knowledge coming down as a as a guy who's new to the D line. Yourself and Gordo have been a massive help. And so, Kev, if there's a couple of guys out there now who be watching this and then maybe following the club and we'll come, we're, as the evens get shorter, we're getting closer to the NFL season and they might need a little push just to come, maybe come and join. What would you like to say to them? Well, as I heard one of the other lads say, this sport is built for everybody type. No matter what sports background you have. I had no sports background when I joined football and I'm passionate about it. If you have an inkling to do it, just come do it. You might as well be, it's like standing on the edge of a cliff. Just jump. You will regret it if you don't. You know, take the dive, try it. If you don't like it, you don't like it, but at least you tried. Uh, Kev, I have to say, uh, it's it's been an honor playing beside you. Uh, we have a nice little we have a nice little team going at the minute where uh, we've we uh, we've worked we've worked a few techniques, we've worked a few this, that, and the other, and it's mm. been great. Um, so any personal highlights for yourself this season? Um, it can be something you, you've played, you've made, or something you've seen, or anything. Just something that you've stand, stood in your mind for this year. Well, there's a couple of things. Just the solid D-line that we have. Just the way we've shut down the inside run. No matter who it is in the middle. Could be me or Gordo, could be you and Conan, and it could be a mixture of any of them. I have to put um, Kingo in the middle there as well. Any of them. No team has run up the middle with us. And if they have, they've been stopped. That's one of my proudest comments about this season. For me personally, it was the Vipers callback when me and um, Niall Corcoran t- sacked him last week. He goes, all he could hear was when I hit him was, come on for you, Polly, and then bang. Just as brings a giggle to me head. As I mentioned actually to Gordo in Gordo's interview, and there's a lovely photo. I actually forgot to mention Gordo's interview. You were actually in the photo as well with one of the Derry yeah. Vipers player. Um, I've seen on Facebook. It's fantastic to see you like yourself. I, I, it's the same when every game I've gone to with you, you've always stopped and chat at the two or three lads. You probably met maybe mm. through, through the Wolfhounds or as you said, you play with different clubs. How do you feel that brotherhood kind of, that brotherhood goes in this country? Do you reckon it's a strong bond between players from Cork up to all the way to Belfast? Within the American football community in Ireland, it is the main thing that brings us all together. I love for football, but also as you just said, the Buddhahood. Like, that player you're talking about was Paul O'Donnell, the callback oh, okay. I hit. Mm. And I know him for years. And he's not uh, not being bad to him. He's 50 odd years of age. He's still going. And, for, and he's still going. Gordo, in his mid to late 40s, still going. You know, like, it just shows you the passion lads have for the spot. That's what I kind of classify as Buddhahood, as football that we can smash each other up and down the field, but then hug, chat, go for a pint after. You it's, can't beat it. It's great. It's something that kind of, it's something actually that I've, I've talked to one or two of the rookies on this and they've actually got, they've got to got to feel it. It's like, yeah, we, 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 we're getting, we're getting smashed, but we're smashing back and then we're, we're chatting to the master of the game and it's all fun mm-hmm. and it's all everything like that now. Yeah. So, Hopefully now we can we can celebrate. We can do the same with the lads at Limerick on Sunday. We can uh, we can have a great game, maybe meet for a pint, and but but to make sure that we have the cup to show them. So mm. Kevin Tempo, look, it's been a great time to have a chat with you. Um, personally, good pal of mine, and it's been great to it's been great to play alongside you. Any comments for the boys or any any of the fans as you might be watching? Just go out and get it done, lads. Well, at it again. Let's not walk away without the trophy this year. Play smash mouth football like we do, bring it home. That's it. Tempo, fantastic. I'll see you on the bus Sunday. Have a good day, brother. Yeah. No problem, Bono. Thanks.